You believe in God. Don't change the subject. No, I'm serious. Do you? Of course not, do you? You're right. Of course not. <laughs> a bunch of hot air. You know, I got a rule whenever I'm tending bar. Nobody is allowed to talk religion. If they do, I bounce them. Alcohol and religion don't mix. But what happens to us after we die? Nothing. We're dead. But isn't there something that goes on? Yeah, yeah, but, but it ain't worth nothing. I'm not like a cow. See, a cow gets to be a, a T-bone or beef jerky, but with a person, they don't even try to recoup the meat. But what about the thinking part? Can you imagine the universe continuing on without you here to think about it? Hey, I've been doing it all my life. So there's no part of us that lives on after we die? Right. No past, no future, no piper to pay? No nothing. In that case, I've decided what we should do today. We? Given the state of the universe, there's only one way to go. Earthly pleasures, sensual delight. I'll take that drink now. Starting again, huh? Let's pick up the pace. Pour yourself one, too. There's this resort in the Bahamas, a fantasy World-class bar, four-star restaurant, jacuzzi heated pool, 27-hole golf course, but the real... Yeah, I thought you didn't like golf. Fuck golf. The beauty part is they keep you sexually stimulated all day long. How do they do that? Well, for instance, if you want, you can sit by the pool with a bevy of new teenage beauties in your lap. Or maybe you'd rather take them for a swim. Uh, is that all they do, sit in your lap and swim? Of course not. You can ball them if you can, but if you can't, there's no embarrassment. Places run for old farts like us. They don't expect you to be able to get it up. You're putting me on. Plus, they have the world's finest fettuccine Alfredo. Hey, I'm a hot patient. Me too. And as for sexual stimulation all day, that can't be any good for the ticket. So what? Live now. <laughs> it's easy for you to say you're dying. And you're not. Hey, I got some time left. Yeah, at least a couple thousand days and nights of more of the same. If you think you got something to lose, my friend, you're nuts. Yeah, well, when you put it that way. <laughs> Personally, I think it's a stroke of luck to die quick, like my son. Hey, tell me something. They let you, you know, uh, take a little pussies. Anything the paying customer wants. But you're paying, right? You won't know that. Your doctor wants you up and on your feet. What do you even know my condition? I'm, 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 what did you call it? My capillaries could collapse. My organs could backfire. You've got to keep moving. We better get the airport. Have a car? Are you going in your pajamas? I can't go pack a suitcase in front of my wife and that fat nurse who watches soaps for 24.75 an hour. Come on! How's this gonna work out? Are you gonna die in the middle You'll of it? You'll return tickets and pocket money. Come on! Doesn't feel good, Pat. I, I, I feel dizzy. You've got to keep moving. It'll get better. Why aren't you tired? You say you're supposed to die any minute. You should be tired right now. I am tired! You look like you're ready to boogie. Oh, oh I'm, I'm tired. Take another sip of tea. Somebody in the hospital said you were going to die. I'll tell you in the car. Was it the ICU? Were you laying on a bed and you heard voices that seemed close? Sure. What did they say? If you want to swap medical stories, I'm leaving without you. In the ICU, they got screens between the beds instead of walls. You could have heard voices near somebody else's bed and thought they were right next to you. I could hear the saliva in their mouths. But you don't know for sure. Are you coming or not? You still haven't told me what they said? If you want to be an asshole, okay. But if you change your mind, you better come quick, because I'm leaving as soon as I find a cab. Ain't no cabs around here.